Well, hello again. So here we are with a little G52 that I just got off eBay uh, that you saw me unboxing in my last video. Um, let's see how this actually goes. So turn on the power. Oop. There it goes. It's stuttery on those points. Let's bring it back in. Okay, so there's definitely an issue with this going over points. Um, I just want to see, is it... I don't think it's the uh, wheel there. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think the front wheels are making proper contact with the track. So this is a little bit of a problem going over some of my points. Um, I think it's the traction tyres. Um, I think what's happening is they're lifting the locomotive just a tiny, tiny little bit and it's causing poor contact on the front wheels. Um, the rear wheels are sprung, um, so they'll always make contact. But when you, the, one of the rear wheels is going over the frog and the point, and unless the point is 100% level, I think what's happening is that the front of the locomotive is lift, lifting just a little bit because of those traction tyres. Um, it's exactly the same chassis as my G83. Um, now this is supposed to have traction tyres on it, but it never has. And this runs absolutely fine. Yeah. Okay, I think we have to get this to the bench. Okay, so... I do think um, the traction tyres are causing the issue with the, the connection on the front wheels. It could be the pickups, so we'll get this body off and we'll have a look. Um, I think this is a bit, pretty much the same as my uh, G83. Um, probably best to get the uh, this rear coupling off. Right, very carefully. Push that in. It's a really stupid design for getting the uh, the body off on this thing. I really don't like that. Just put a screw through for goodness sake. You know, it's got this uh, little clip that fits into the slot at the back. Um, but no, I don't like that. Don't like it at all. Uh, the other thing I might do to this actually. Um, I'm not keen on the cab being grey. I don't know if you can see in there. Um, I don't know why they've done that. It just looks a bit meh. I'm not sure how easily that comes out actually. Or is it glued in? It must come out surely because I like to paint the driver as well. Um, but I don't want to break anything. So I'll leave that just now, but and I want to fix this uh, little broken rail at the front there. But let's look at this first of all. So the pickups are in contact with the wheels. Yeah, I I don't think it's a pickup issue. I'm just going to get a paintbrush in to give this a dust out because it, it's not really dirty. It's just a bit of fluff. And. I'll just get the give the pickups a wee bit of a wipe. All right, but I think we'll take this uh, under frame off because I want to see how lubricated the axles are and um, if 
if the springs on that rear axle are okay. Alright, okay, so if we lift this rear axle out of the way, we see the little springs and it all looks okay. I'm going to have a little bit of a, a mop up, there's quite a bit of oil in here. But that looks okay to be honest. Let's get rid of some of the excess oil. And this front axle. Right, spot a power loop. Right, okay. We'll put this under frame back on. Right, make sure these pickups are inside the wheels. Right, I want to lift this up because I want to get at the warm gear to get some lubrication on it. So I'm going to undo this top screw. to lift the motor out, like that, and we'll get some oil. Into the bearing at the front and at the back here. And we shall get some white grease. On the one gear and some gear oil. Quite a generous amount. And then we'll pop this back in before it all falls apart. Oh, come on, this has got out of position. Sure, the uh, pickups are inside the wheels. We'll screw this back in. So I'm just turning this to work in that lubrication on the on the gear. Now we're going to take these traction tires off. I, for the life of me, I have no idea why Hornby thought it would be a good idea to put these traction tires on these things. Um, it's just just nuts. Now I could just uh, pull these traction tires off and and cut them. Um, let's basically just do that, and they'll come off. But obviously. I can't get them off because of the the connecting rods and the crank pin. Um, <laughs> it's very tempting, you know, just to to cut them off. But let's do the the proper thing and undo the crank pin. That's too big. There we go. So we'll undo that crank pin. And then we can take the trash and tie it off. But you could just cut it. But just on the off chance that this has any running problem without the traction tires, I can put them back on. But I don't think it will. At least these are nice, simple screw and crank pins and not horrible push fit ones or um, the ones with the 
they're little hexagonal heads that you need a tiny little spanner for. Okay, then we'll get a spot of oil. Um, what have I done with it? Where's my oil? Oh, there it is. Uh, on the crank bins. All right, okay. I think we're done. I'm just going to pop this on the test track. Okay, I'm going to put this aside just now and look at fixing this little. Uh, don't fall over. So I think what's happened is broken, and I think it's either a tiny little bit is missing, or this pin's got pushed in. So I want to see if I can pull it out. Can get a grip on that. There we go, it's pushed it out. Would that take a little spot of glue? Yes, it would. It would. Right, get this out. So it does appear to have. Uh, lost a little bit a little bit's broken off right okay we'll get the industrial strength super glue uh, so i did the old classic uh, filming with the camera switched off um but what i've done is i've glued uh this little plug piece onto this handrail with super glue um and hopefully that'll take should be fine but I'm going to let that sit and harden for a wee while. Uh, meantime let's just put this back together. Right, okay, so that goes in there. And that then clips in like that. So it's nice and easy to put back together but um, really you know just to, even if it was held on with the, the coupling screw that would be so much better. Just hate plastic clips. There we are. So say I'm going to leave that interior today, but um, let me know if this comes out. If anybody's ever taken one of these interiors out, let's see if this handrail is uh, ready to go back on. There we go. Okay, so that's repaired. Cool. Okay, so there we are, we're all sorted. Handrail fixed, uh, cleaned, oiled, dusted, and the traction tires removed. Um, I'm pretty sure the connection issue uh, that we saw in the layout was down to the, the traction tires on the, these uh, drive wheels here. Um, it was just causing the, the front wheels just to lift very slightly on some of my points. Um, you know, if your points are absolutely bang on flat, this will run over them fine. Um, but because my track's laid on polystyrene, they're not quite 100% flat, you know, they they could be better. So um, I think that's why I was getting a bit of an issue. But with the traction tires removed, I think this will run just fine. So let's go and stick it in the layer again and see what's what. Okay, let's turn on the power. Let's see how it goes over these points slowly. Better. That's more like it. Yeah, I think it's just those traction tires.
So there we are, that's my G52 running uh, quite nicely now, um, no problem over the points and I'm pretty sure the problem was just those traction tyres. Um, it's starting to pick up speed now and I've been running it a little bit because in comparison to my G83 it was a little bit sluggish but uh, it's picking up speed now so I think it just needs a little bit of running in and it'll be absolutely fine. So, till next time, catch you later guys.